With the announcement of the Duelist Pack dropping on Wednesday, of course we got a time to take a peek in and see what Marin says. Cards have gone to the moon, how Forbidden Droplet is handling things. You know, the market doesn't want to stop sleeping, even if you think we're in one of the toughest economic situations that we've been in in a very long time. Well, let's do that in a market watch, shall we? Thirty percent of you guys have not smashed the Evelyn Crib by that subscribe button. Come on, subscribe. Uh, we're literally within a hundred, if not very, very close to a hundred or hundred and six thousand actually. So Marin says cards. What's actually kind of changed back here? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, you've had the knowledge to know the Marin says cards were gonna get some sort of reprint slash some wouldn't get reprinted. So if you were caught with your pants down as per usual here, it's your own fault. I provide knowledge. If you don't want to listen, okay. Uh, original print Coral Anemones, eh, you're looking about still $10 on these. Um, that's fine. These have been on a nice little spiral down. That is acceptable. This is also going to be like a combination of, do I want high rarities? Blue Tangs, guess what? They're $11 right now for the Chaos, <laughs> the Seeker Airs. Um, yeah, these, $12 I've seen a few have moved at there, but all right. It's not horrid. Uh, old Coral Anemones from the uh, reprints, a uh, little bit of money there. Waves, gone up, uh, and actually they're about the same, four bucks. Uh, Seahorse is about three to four. Uh, Pascalis, <laughs> this card still is drunk and doesn't know what it wants to do. Still basically four dollars. Marbled Rocks, two to three. Uh, reprint Waves, two to three. And this is where the, the hilarity starts. Blue Sluggeru. Uh Yeah, guess what? Bump. Um, wow, decent value there. Um, yeah, you're looking at six bucks for these and disappearing off the market. If you're somebody that wants to play Marin says, I mean, you know, like how mandatory Blue Slug gets. Like, you can't get away without playing it. <laughs> Reprint Blue Tangs are dollars. That's hilarious. Uh, sea Angels are dollars. Uh, Reprint Blue Slugs are down, which is good. All right, but. If you're looking at these higher rarity things, like most 2,139 copies of Marbled Rock. Wow. Anyway, if you're one of these people out here that you're kind of just taking a look like some of this higher rarity stuff, yeah, of course, it, it's going to happen. That's what, this is what happens with the market all the time with these sorts of things. Oh boy, Forbidden Droplet. I can guarantee you the ulti is not going to go very far, and if it does go a little bit down, it will recover immediately. I see you have a one stray copy at 277, which probably won't be here by the time this video goes up in a couple hours. And then you have literally 300. Actually, these are going up right now. Thank you. I, so many people will lock in their higher rarity cards just to ensure that they have them. 80, uh, these did drop down a little bit. 80, 80, 110. Um, we don't count that one. 81, 81. Yeah, the secrets did look like they ra run down a little bit, which is fine. Uh, the Brothers of Legend ones are down to 60. So, yes, the lower rarity ones, um, I think the first sets for these will go back up over time. Uh, but, you know, those alties are going to maintain to hold. That's literally what happens. If you've been looking at, like, the course of staples as of late in terms of, like, their value tree, yeah, alti staples continuing to hold. Speaking of value, so OTS Pack 18 has been around for a little while at this point. Uh, a lot of people looked at this and they're like, well, you know, like, two Starlights got ultimate rares, you know? You know, a ban list came through and, you know, destroyed Vertanaconda off the face of the planet. So, like, how is this set actually, like, holding as of late here? And the answer is pretty cheaply, actually. If you wanted Ulti Fusion Destinies, 54 bucks. Okay. If you wanted Ulti Zeus to look nice, $51. All right. Not not horrible. Uh, Ecclesias, $47. <laughs> I mean... If you're looking at, like, the ultis in the set, these are by far probably some of the cheapest modern-era ultis that you can get handed to you out of your, basically, price packs. You know, it's it's not, like, $300 Nibiru status out here, but you can definitely tell your OTS ultis 
are still floating very low. I mean, of course, you know, token collectors, everything else in this set. Those contacts, he's down to dollar twenties. All right, everything else down here, definitely cheaper. But that's what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of OTS Pack 18. A lot more enticing as of late. Prior to practice, so we did see that this was up for the reprint. I I told people that this was going to get the reprint in the Legendary Duel set. It literally was one of the headliner cards of that set, and people were like, "No." I mean. If you were wanting to get ahead and try to play the Predaplant deck before this set came out in July, you had to look at those ridiculous prices where you got ahead of the curve in early May and you got rewarded for it. Um, they've, yeah, spiked back down here, $20. Um, for people that didn't think that this card wasn't going to get the reprint, it was literally written on the wall. So, all right. Good news you can get a Preda practice in the French for 20 bucks. It's actually kind of cool. I'll tell you that, yeah, these rushed back down. Um, anybody else in this set rushed back down? Like Curse Necrofear? Uh, one Spanish copy for 28, and we're back up to 40. Yeah, that, okay. No change there. Triff Overdom's still $25. Okay. Cool. So it looks like it's literally just Predator Practice that ran back down. A Scantor Dawnwalker is still a $16 card. Okay. Oh, man. Mystic Minds. Oh, boy, after that Sky Strikers. Yeah still $12. I don't know why people were shocked about that. $7. And then the golds went up. Um, for those of you that have been like kind of watching the market on this, uh, this has been a fun one actually to watch. Uh, considering the fact that these were literally 2 to $3 the other day, and to see them like do a reverse spikeroo right back up through the moon, actually kind of interesting. Um, Daifo, what's going on back here? We're uh, still under 300 for Ghost Bells. Okay. Uh, Starlight King Regulix is 258. Uh, Alba is down to 140. Uh, Magnifica is 165. Wow. Uh, looks like Regulix pushed under 70. That's good. I like to see that. Uh, Pesquils, $62, $63 for Starlights. Nice. Vice's Starfrost, you guys remember these were literally like $40 a couple days ago. I'm glad to see that more people listed these and pushed these down. This stupid sneak peek promo being any sort of like crazy value, like even the M pens gave out after a while. So many people think this is the new Albaz. Very interesting. Bori is $22, Psychic M Punisher's $20. Okay. Uh, Lenitus, under $20. Beyond the Pendulum at $13. Disc Alcium at $12. Vice of Starfrost at ten bucks. Illegal Knight at seven. Okay. Dynamorphia Frenzy at seven. Magnificas at sixes. And Tri Hearts at six to seven dollars. Okay. Pendulum Graph still at three to four. Rexstrom here at three. Zombie Dragon Lord at three dollars. I love that the little cards in this set actually have value. Good job on that one, Konami. So yeah, Daifo looking pretty maintainable out here. For the most part. Next up here, Amazonist Willpower. What is going on here? Um, these have long since calmed down a little bit here. We haven't had any like crazy movements back here, but you know, Pyroxene Duelist Pack does give access to some of the more interesting stuff here in the near future. So you're looking at two ish dollars for these? I guess that's kind of interesting. I do want to, I actually forgot to include this in here. I want to give a shout out to Chaos Hunter right now. Uh, in the OCG, there is a tier elements build that has started to show up that is playing the Ishizu stuff. You know, Keldeo, Kel Kelbeck, Mudora. It basically lets you play Exchange of the Spirits to kind of create this deck out strategy versus the opponent. And um, for the one event that we kind of saw it start to come up, we started to see Chaos Hunter start to show up more as well. It's literally just when your opponent's watch some of the monster, discard cards, but also summon this card from your hand, and your opponent cannot remove cards from play. Um, in the situation of basically an exchange of spirits slash mill deck, um, such as that, uh, this actually kind of gives you a counter to ensure that you don't die. Um, now, I'm assuming that there probably might be outs to this, but I just wanted to kind of give this a shout out because. These light plays are at $10 to $11, and they're very, very cheap. And I just wanted to say, keep an eye on this. 
It seems like one of those more um, little interesting niche interactions, but the fact that I'm starting to see this show up, um, I wanted to just kind of mention that here so everybody could be aware of that. So guys, what do you think? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you're seeing. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys know more more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.